Welcome to the Cloud Accounting Podcast. I'm Blake Oliver. And I'm David Leary. And I'm Amanda Aguilar. And we're in New Orleans for Woo-hoo! Accounting Salon. Yeah! Woo! Right outside the Metrodome. No, sorry. Superdome. Super the Metrodome. Me. Sorry. Minnesota. <laughs> it is actually enormous. That's Looking out this window, it's super, super intimidating. I mean, did you do this on purpose, Amanda, to intimidate all the other football fans? Well, you know what's funny is Kenji and I have this... Um, love-hate relationship about football because he's from Atlanta yep. and I'm from here in New Orleans and the Saints and the Falcons, you know, are rivals. And so I made him stand in front of the window and take a picture and tweeted it. <laughs> <laughs> so here in New Orleans for a county salon, salon, which I, last year was just a hashtag, not something real, but how do we get to this point? Yeah. Amanda. A couple of years ago, I had this idea that if we could grab all the people we knew um, like both of you guys, uh, together and pull pull all of our, our cloud accounting expert friends together, we could create some kind of event that would really be valuable to people at the highest levels of cloud accounting. Um, you know, having gone to conferences for years, I found that I got more out of what happens after hours or the back of the room than I did really from the stuff that was coming from the stage. And so in the spirit of a French salon, um, we thought, well, can we just grab a bunch of people together and start talking cloud accounting? And so that's how Salon was born. And I had this wacky idea. And um, the first person who said, raised his hand and said, I'll do it with you is David Leary. So here we are. So here we are. Wait, so, so let's go to the name, Salon, Accounting Salon. Mm-hmm. What You said French Salon? What yeah. does it mean? So like a French Salon of the... Um, We're not getting our hair done. You're not getting your hair done. So think French Salon of... of uh, the you know 18th century uh-huh. where folks gathered together discussed big ideas everyone was an equal there may or may not have been some drinks served people talked about about big things um, and so that's that's really what I want the spirit of accounting salon to be where everyone's equal uh, we discuss we might disagree but we really process all these all the things that are going on in the industry and if you look at the the history of the of the salons it really embraces what we're what this event has turned into because we, we were trying to decide a name. We're going to call it cloud accounting conference or cloud accounting expo or, or the other 50,000 names that have already been used. And so salon is very, very unique and it seems weird until you go learn about the French salons of the 18, uh, late well, 1800s. The big difference is it's not a bunch of speakers up on a stage telling the audience what to think, right? That's what that's right. we're all sick of. As somebody who gets up on stage and tells people what to think, <laughs> you know, yes. Exactly. I'm sick of myself too. Well, so Amanda and I did not work together to create a conference. So Amanda and I could have a keynote. We don't have a keynote. We don't speak. So even somebody that's a, we we have the members do the talks, right? right. Um, and we combine forces. So like for example, last year we had a talk. We took somebody who was a QuickBooks expert on Zapier and somebody that was a zero expert on Zapier, and they never met each other. And we made those two work together to create a presentation. And that's really the spirit of it is, is just bringing, colliding these worlds together that have kind of been separate. Yeah. I mean, there's really not today a great cross-platform accounting conference. You know, ZeroCon's great. QuickBooks Connect is great. Um, but as far as something where all of us go to, can come together, you know, I'm zero. David was an into it for a long time. You know, he and I never crossed paths in the years that we were in accounting. Um, and so we just made something up where we would. We had to meet at a law firm conference. That's right. <laughs> really? Which one? Clear. Clear, Clear, Clear law. law conference. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So that's yeah, that's kind of crazy. Well, so what's on deck for the next couple of days, Amanda? So our salon kicks off tomorrow morning. We'll do a day of content. As David mentioned, we have our our salon attendees presenting content. We have a, a panel on advisory, whether it's jump the shark. So is, you know, it, everybody says that's that's the defense to everything now. Oh, QuickBooks is being a bunch of jerks. Well, advisory. So you don't need to worry about that. But is that really true? Is is have we peaked? Have we reached peak advisory? Um, we'll is, have. Is advisory the new blockchain? <laughs> right. Um, yeah. Probably not, because I have not seen anybody and anybody who has a firm that says they're doing advising get any VC money. Because they're just advising for well, Maybe that's the next thing. Maybe. Let's go raise $20 million to do advisory. Put together right. a fund. We'll do it through an app. That's what just we'll be do. Bot advisory. Bot advisory. Bot advisory. 
least we, re- we registered that domain name. <laughs> So we'll talk about, um, that's one of the panels that, that we have going on. And then um, we have uh, another one on compensation. So interesting compensation strategies for accounting firms that are neither salaried nor hourly. Mm-hmm. So I, as you guys know, we have people from all over the world here in New Orleans. Yes. Yeah. Heather We're, Smith is here from Australia. I came all the way yeah. from Australia. That's so cool. Yeah. It's it's um, humbling a little bit to me because it's, you know, I... Of course, this is my baby, and it's in my backyard, but that somebody would come from literally the other side of the world to come uh, be with us is awesome. And we have some Canadians. And we have three Canadians. So Rachel Fish and uh, Heather are doing a talk about the global account- uh, accounting environment. Yep. So I think those of us in the U.S. get a little bit, you know, bottlenecked about yeah. it. We're like, oh, I don't know what's going on in the rest of the world. So they're going to tell us what that looks like. Can we get a commitment that somebody from the UK will be invited next that year? That would be awesome. You can nominate yourselves at accountingsalon.com. So anybody worldwide is welcome to submit their application. The Global Accounting Salon. I like that. I like the, I like the ring of that. Yeah. Um, so I think I mentioned a while ago that we were at one time just a hashtag, right? And now this has turned into a real site. We have really deep sponsors. We have, we've doubled the size of attendees. How many attendees now? Uh, we have 36. 36. So it's two cohorts. Cool, cool two cohorts. cohorts of 18. Right. Invite only, which it's not about being exclusive or secretive at all. Like right, We have a very um, transparent nomination process. People throw their names in the hat or their their names in the hat. Yeah, their names in the hat. Yeah. Um, or are nominated by other folks. And we have a nominating committee that will look at the, those people. And then we extend invitations. So we deliberately are keeping it intimate and only adding... Um, a set number of attendees per year. And some amazing sponsors this year, including Gusto. Yeah, Gusto is the title sponsor. So this is the accounting salon presented by Gusto. That's very exciting. And who else do we got? We got Rex, Rippling, Notify, Giraffe, Veeam, Deer. You see that? Count? Count. Count with a Q. Count with a Q. Live plan on pay. Fantastic sponsors. Yeah. No, they've been incredibly supportive. Um, again, it's it's humbling to see the support coming from all over the accounting industry. And those those some of those folks will be joining us for the after hours events. You mentioned the domain a few times, Amanda, but just in case people missed it, if they want to nominate themselves or someone else for accounting salon, if they want to just learn more about the event, if they want to sponsor it, where should they go? Accountingsalon.com. Accountingsalon.com. And if people want to get in touch with you personally online, yeah. where should they go? Um, probably easiest to reach me via email, amanda at elephanttraining.com, E-L-E-F-A-N-T training.com. Could you, uh, elephant training, could you quickly say what that is? Yeah. So, so elephant is the uh, training company that I started a couple of years ago. We focus on technology and practice management for accountants and bookkeepers. So we do offer CPE. We have uh, live webinars every month on different topics like Xero, um, QBO, using QBO for restaurants, using Xero and Gusto together. Uh, Then we also do a lot of practice management content. And most of our focus this year is around remote. So remote leadership, especially. We're doing a whole series about that this summer. Um, so I'll be working with, with some folks on, on creating content around remote teams and remote leadership. Well, Amanda, I'm sure you have a lot to do. So we'll let you go and organize this event, make it happen. And we'll see you in a couple minutes. Yeah. Thanks the for first, having me, guys. The first mixer. Thanks. See ya. Bye. Bye.